Hey guys and welcome back. For texturing this low poly model I used a Unity editor extension called Surfforge. Uh, I followed the link in the description. It's currently $50 and I promise you it's worth every penny. This uh, Unity editor extension enables you to create high quality physically based rendering materials from scratch directly within the Unity editor and you can actually paint them directly onto your 3D model. So I'm just going to leave play mode. I'm going to create a new scene and I'm going to open Surforge. Uh, and just, just for the sake of um, screen space, I'm going to move the hierarchy and the project window off screen and create a new texture. All right, so basically what that did is it created this cube up here, and this is our preview. And then in the scene view, we have a flat plane. And this is basically our UV map. If I go back to Blender, you can see we have a 3D model, flat UV map, and so that, that's what's happening here. Um, now I'm going to take my hammer, wherever I saved it, and take the model data and drop that into the open model slot. And once that renders, you should see the hammer here, like that. And I'm not going to go too into detail on these features, but basically you can create uh, areas. Um, essentially what you're doing is creating geometry in the Unity Editor, and then it's projecting that onto your model. So I can move around. I've got this uh, plane that I just created, and I can even just like chop it like that. And so now I just broke the geometry into two pieces. These are actual Unity game objects. And when you hit space, it renders them onto the model. And then if you want to, you can uh, assign different materials to each of those. So I'm just going to break this again like that. And I'm going to select this one and hit 2. And we've got some overlapping geometry, so I'm just going to move one of them down slightly. There we go and hit space, and now you can see we have um, different materials on the object. I don't quite like that pattern, so I'm just going to change it up. And again, make sure, make sure you have the geometry selected if you're trying to cut it, like that. And I'll just assign, um, I'll hit zero to assign an emissive texture, an emissive map to this corner, hit space, and now you can see we have a little light and then we can even shuffle the textures and let Surforge automatically uh, determine textures for us. And some of these look really, really cool. While I'm at it, I think I will use the Poly Lasso tool and break this off here. Hit zero again. And render that. Alright, so now if we go back to this scene, we have two different hammers, and basically I just spent about 10 to 15 minutes in Surforge creating materials for each one. Uh, all I did was use the Poly Lasso tool to cut along the edges, and then use the number keys to assign different materials um, to the different pieces of geometry. And then you can use the zero on the number key to assign emissive materials. You can see the, the light bleeding off that edge. Um, and then I exported those from Surforge, and that created one single physically based rendering material. Um, if I select, uh, th these are all the bitmaps that came out of Surforge. So we've got the color map here, and then like specular, normal maps, height maps, emission maps. Uh, and if I select the material, you can see it's just a standard Unity specular setup using those six bitmaps. So again, really, really easy to use, really, really um, high quality. I like it a lot. So if you're interested, check it out. There's a link in the description. And I plan on doing tutorials for every single little feature and tool in Surforge. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys next time.